I'm going to take a moment to show you how to make an unbalanced matching question using a GIFT file as uh, a way to import the question into Moodle. Now, I only just found out recently that you can have more answers than questions, and I, if I had been paying attention, I would have known that already because it says right here in the description and uh, instructions that you can have extra wrong answers by giving an answer with a blank question. And I didn't realize this, this, but at the recent MUG meeting, the Moodle user group meeting that we had here on campus, one of the other faculty um, just kind of mentioned in an offhand manner that, of course, you can put more wrong answers if you want. So I've, I've got here the web interface to create a question. I've got some Latin vocabulary, uh, nice word, Latin vocabulary from my youth or high school days that I'm trying to remember here. Puer for boy, puella for girl. Agricola for farmer, and I'm going to add some more um, wrong answers. Oops, where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm not used to the web interface. This is one of the reasons I don't like the web interface, because it does stuff that scares me like this. So I'm going to put um, tree, and let's see, what else should I put? Eh? Spaceship? Not likely in Latin. But you never know. And spider. And I think I'm just going to save the questions. Must so what? Oh, for goodness sake. Supply of value. Um, Latin. I'm going to be super, super skimpy on my text on these here. Now let's save changes. All right, now I'm going to preview the question. This is very exciting. Let's see what it looks like. This is a matching question, and oh dear, look at all these choices. I'm going to choose farmer, and puer, oh that must be a tree, and puella, that must be a spider. And I'm going to save. Did it tell me? It doesn't even tell me whether I got it wrong or not. <laughs> anyway, so you can make the question that has more than one um, answer, or like uh, multiple wrong answers for every uh, correct answer and so forth. But uh, I do not like to edit my questions on the web interface. I like to use a text editor and to import everything in GIFT format. And what a matching question looks like in GIFT is like this. I've got two questions here. One is balanced, and the other is unbalanced. And by unbalanced, I just mean it's got more answers than questions. And I've uh, always done my matching questions this way, thinking that there was no way to add more incorrect answers. And so I've always had, for every question, here, Corvette, the answer would be car. Uh, Harley Davidson, the answer would be motorcycle. This is the format you use. Uh, for every thing you want to add, you put an equal sign Put your question text and then a little dash and then greater than sign for the and then the answer but what i experimented with and discovered is that you can simply leave out the question text if you want to add extra wrong answers in your gift file so here i've got uh, three types of food or plants or whatever and then i've added two wrong answers where you can see I just have the equal sign, a space, the dash, greater than, and then the answer. So there's no question text, there's only answer text. Let's import that and see what it looks like. This is so exciting. Okay, so you have to go down here on the left-hand side where it says question bank, and then we choose import. And there are many formats from which to import. I always use GIFT. I've never even tried any of these other ones. Choose a file or drag it on there. Where, where did I put this thing? Hang on. Let's see. Uh, I think I put it in the questions folder. And then, wait, which file is it? Unbalanced matching. Okay, there's my unbalanced matching file. I'm just going to drag it in the little thingy there. And click import. Importing two questions from file, continue. This is great. Now I've got, uh, uh -oh, which one was that? Um, unbalanced matching test, unbalanced, ma oh man, <laughs> I'm sorry. I remember what these things are called. Okay, there's the Latin one. 
Okay, oh, I see. Balanced matching and then unbalanced. So let's look at the balanced one first. This is the one, okay, a Harley Davidson. You can choose car, but see, this is so easy because uh, if you know, like, one of them, you can use process of elimination and get the other. So anyway, um, that's how that one works. Now, the other one, let's see if it worked. The unbalanced matching test. I just imported this in GIFT. I'm going to check and see if it worked. A daisy, there should be, what, five choices? Yes, look at that. Fruit, animal, flower, tree, vegetable. The unbalanced import works perfectly in the GIFT format. Simply by leaving out the question text right here. Love that. I am going to sign off now and let you just sit back and think about how wonderful that is.